guys so today officially makes 143 days i've been raw so i want to go over a few things that i've noticed since i've gone raw so please beware i am touching on everything some things may be tmi but i feel like you need to know so i will be touching on it so let's just get right into it because i know you guys want to know the first thing is frequent stools. So I use the bathroom maybe three to four times a day. It's extremely, I wouldn't say loose, but soft. It's a lot of it in the toilet to the point where I have to flush like in between the same session because it's so much. I know that's a lot, you guys, but I, I feel like I need to like say this. And it's, it's just crazy because I don't know if it's because of what I'm eating or because when I did my 90 day juice fast, I really didn't cater to the constipation and I just allow myself to kind of go on not really, you know, treating the constipation. So I don't know if my body is just like in release mode or whatever the case may be. But baby, I'm in the bathroom three to four times a day and it's a lot of it that's coming out. And I was a little scared at first because I'm just like, is this normal? Because it wasn't like diarrhea, like it wasn't loose, but it was like super soft, you know what I'm saying? So it was, it made me feel uncomfortable. But then I started doing research. I started watching YouTube videos about this and I found out that it was normal. So now I feel a little bit better, but I will say, that it does happen and it can freak you out a little bit if you're not expecting it but like i said it could be because the type of food that i'm eating i take in a lot of avocados and i know avocados are high in fiber so i'm assuming maybe that's why i don't know but yeah it's happening and it's real and please expect it if you're trying to go on a raw journey so the next thing is healing the body with raw foods although it is very very highly recommended to heal your body by going raw I will say if you decide to do that, please stay away from raw desserts. I went on this rampage trying to make all these raw desserts for my daughter, but I end up eating a lot of it too. And I realized that it can put a damper on your healing journey. So if you are trying to heal the body, please stay away from raw treats. Because when you make raw desserts, you're using a lot of dates, agave, maple syrup, and you don't want that sugar to kind of block you from, you know, healing your body especially when you're taking in fruit as well it's just too much sugar so if you are going raw or plan to go raw to heal your body stay away from raw desserts please trust me which is why I am going on this three-day juice fast starting tomorrow because I want to reset my body I want to make sure I stay on track and make healthy choices which is why I am going on this three-day juice fast to kind of reset get my mind back right get the discipline back on track which it is but you know I kind of got too comfortable with the raw treats and I need to back away from that so if you guys want to join me on this three-day juice fast you can because it starts tomorrow I know it's last minute by the time you guys see this video Video, it will probably be day one of my juice fast so I'm sorry however you can jump in still you can do you know the last two days or you can do a one day juice fast which is 24 hours I feel like short juice fasts work as well I think a lot of people sleep on it but it helps you build the discipline because when I first went on my 90 day juice fast I failed a lot like let me tell you I tried so many times before I actually stuck with it but I really don't look at it as failure in retrospect because it basically was like short juice fast and it helped me build that discipline so even if you're starting a juice fast and you feel like you keep giving up on day four or day five please don't count that as failure that is preparation okay preparation please know that because that's what it was for me and finally I stuck with it and went 90 days a prolonged juice fast is not necessary for everybody so you don't have to do it um but it is something i feel like gives your body like a kick start to heal itself and i highly recommend it only because i've you know went on a juice fast and it worked wonders for me so you know i'm going to be an advocate for it all day every day if you don't want to go on a prolonged juice fast maybe you know a couple of days a week anything like it really helps whatever you decide to do it really helps even a 24 hour you know juice fast so that's all i want to say i don't want to get too much into that because you guys know how i feel about juice fasting but whatever let's get to the next thing now this is one of the main misconceptions about going raw losing weight let me tell you as long as you're eating nuts and you're eating like avocado and just certain things will make you gain weight. 
I'm experiencing that. Like I didn't gain a ton of weight. Right now I'm only eight pounds heavier. So when I ended my 90 day juice fast, I was about 129 pounds and now I am 137 pounds. So that's about eight pounds. Please do the math. I think it's about eight pounds. I could feel myself getting heavier as I continue to eat like the way that I'm eating. And it's mainly the raw treats and tons of avocado. Like it was to a point where I was eating like eight avocados a day, nine a day, which is why I probably was on the toilet so much. I don't know, but yeah, just try to keep a variety of different things. So please don't let anybody convince you that, you know, you can't gain weight on a raw diet. You definitely can, and it won't even look like you're on a raw journey. Trust me. Trust me, I'm discovering so much about being raw, it's crazy. It's kind of like any other diet, to be honest. Like, too much of anything is just too much, and your body is going to respond to it. So, just because it's raw does not mean that your body is, like, healing itself, especially when you're taking a raw treats, like I said. So, anyway, let's get to the next thing. So, this may be TMI, but I really feel like I need to speak on it because there's a lot of people out there that may be struggling with this, and I want you to know that this is the way to go. Go. trust me the first thing I noticed since I've been raw was that you know the vaginal wetness like a lot of it to the point where I thought my cycle was was on basically many times because I'm like oh my god what is going on I'm at the grocery store I'm at Target and it's like oh my god like run into the bathroom and nothing's there so it's like mm, yeah so if you're struggling with vaginal dryness this is the lifestyle for you. Trust me, you will appreciate everything I'm saying right now because it will change your life. I just wanted to get that out my system because I felt like it needed to be said. I know a lot of people don't like to speak on certain things because, you know, I want to keep it real with you guys and let you know what to expect if you decide to go raw. Okay, so I may be a little bit biased on this one, but when I started my raw journey, so to say, I started with a 90 day juice fast, of course. And so I was really benefiting from the juice fast before even going into like eating raw foods. And I realized that my energy was higher, like more like superhuman when I was juicing as opposed to my energy now that I'm eating raw. Now, don't get me wrong. I feel like you still get a lot of energy from eating raw. I just don't really feel the benefits because I started off with a juice fast and my energy was 10 times higher like superhuman like it was all the way turned up like I was functioning off of like four hours of sleep I was up in the gym like I had so much energy and now it's kind of normal and I don't like normal it sucks but I will say I'm a little bit biased so I really don't want to speak on the energy part but if you are lacking energy you can still go raw but I would say lean more towards the juices because they will give you that energy baby especially the fruit so increased energy I'm pretty sure that's a thing but because I started off with a juice fast I can't really speak on that because I'm being biased yeah I, I start off with the juice fast the energy was where it needed to be and I just can't it's no comparison is what I'm saying no comparison so anyway let's get to the next thing food combining so I had a couple of people you know talking about that in my comments when I was on my juice fast when I was documenting my journey and I just ignored it because I'm like listen I'm combining all the fruit baby it's all going in one place I don't really care about this whole talk about food combining I didn't really care but now that I'm raw listen baby I'm feeling it now you cannot mix certain foods together I don't care what anyone says especially being raw my gut is so sensitive to certain things now so when I started just like eating everything raw that I loved I realized that my gut was not really responding to it the way that I wanted to so I had to start doing research and really find out what foods that I could eat with other foods I'm still learning about that I just started my research on that so it kind of motivated me still to kind of go on this three-day juice fast too to kind of figure it out but the food combining thing is a real thing okay I was not a believer of it I'm just like I could eat whatever I want well at that time it was like I can drink whatever I want and then I started eating whatever I want I mean it's raw it's all going in the same place why does it matter Matter. it matters for some reason it matters and I'm still doing research on that and once I figure it out maybe I'll come back to you guys and let you know but right now 
I'm still figuring it out. I'm just letting you know, be careful what foods you put together because it matters and your gut will let you know. So I just wanted to throw that out there. So let's get on to the next thing. So I don't really know if this is a thing, but I am going to make it a thing. I just feel like you guys need to know it is very normal to crave cook food. I've been raw 143 days and I still crave rice and beans. Like I kid you not. I didn't, it didn't start until recently and maybe cause when I was on my juice fast, I didn't feel this way. And then when I went raw initially, I was fine. But now that I'm kind of like further along on my journey, I do kind of crave rice and beans. I don't know what it is. Maybe I need to figure out what nutrients is in beans and rice to figure out what beans should I say and figure out what I what I'm maybe lacking. I doubt if I'm lacking anything because when I last went to the doctor, which I meant to speak on that in one of my uh, other videos, everything was fine. The only thing that was off was my vitamin D still. But I'm not anemic. I'm not any of those things. So I'm perfectly fine. I'm not deficient in anything. So I don't really know what it is, but my body do be like kind of craving. I wouldn't say my body craves beans, but I will say sometimes, you know, I be wanting beans, but I don't do it because, you know, I have self-discipline and it's not in my face because nobody's out here like cooking beans every day. Like <laughs> I don't have to be around beans. So it's just like a thought in my head and I don't make it for my daughter. So no temptation there, but it's perfectly normal to every now and again crave cooked foods. Don't let anyone make you feel like you're not succeeding on your journey. You will have those moments where cooked food will come in your mind and you're like, oh my God, like a big warm bowl of beans will like change my life right now. <laughs> But anyway, it's not happening. I am sticking to this raw journey and I love it. I love it. Overall, I complete. I love it so much. It's just so much that I'm learning along the way. And some of the things are very shocking. Like I had no idea that I was going to gain weight on a raw diet. Like maybe because I was on a juice fast and I lost so much weight, I thought that the same would apply eating raw. Baby, no. So your girl is off the avocados for a couple of days and I am going back to this reset and jump back in, you know, after my three day juice fast. So I just wanted to give you guys some updates on that. But overall, everything is great. I love this journey. I highly recommend it for healing, for clarity, just for losing weight too. Just make sure you choose the right foods. Stay away from the raw desserts. I think a lot of people need to speak on these raw desserts because it had me fooled. I'm out here like just, tearing it up and it is not <laughs> what it is if you plan on going raw i am here to support you because overall it's worth it you know to just dive in and and reap the benefits of all your hard work because your body will thank you if you like this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also join my pump juice community if you need a little bit more support because baby i will be posting content okay in there while i go through my three-day juice fast so if you are watching this video you might want to go ahead and click on the link in the description and join the community so you can get the tips okay on recipes all of that okay all of that because i'm being more intentional about my juice recipes so i am including more anti-inflammatory ingredients not that you know everything i was using before were not anti-inflammatory um ingredients but i'm using more turmeric ginger cranberries like i'm here to let you guys know that is going down. So make sure you join and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.